Thanks to Stu for those early races. I'm going to slip in for my final four National Hunt races of the season. I'm going to do the four finals, starting up with the two poor moors. The three mile five furlong version, first of all. For some reason, it's been cut back to three mile four. I'm not sure why that has happened. I'm sure somebody would have explained it somewhere. It's a grade three handicap. Ah, it's totally got a national fault line for Joshua Sutherland. Alfred Pound and Aaron Thompson, Sweet Women, David Hooley. Lack and Donor Internal, Padre Hogan, Molly Awesome, Alex Cherry, Captain Mannering, Martin Leedham, Verrazano, Bell, Padre Hogan, Gunpoint Defence, Stu Gray, Catastrophe Rider, Thomas Rogers, Dick Tack, Casey, John Morgan, Ruffle Bar, Graham Clutterbuck, Seymour Ghosts, John Morgan, Queen in Waiting, Daniel French, Pulsar Tiller, Alex Cherry, Parler, Dazzling, Thomas Rogers, and Sarah Manamu. Or should that be Sarah Manamu for Matt Cooper? So 16 of the men of the National Fences as well. And. Away we go. I think of any reason why this has been cut down to three mile four. There's been error on the part of somebody, but anyway, who knows? I don't think it makes much difference as they get over the first and they're all safely over it. It's a lot of bigger field than this we've had in the past few years. And Pulsar Tiller has gone into the lead as they get to that one and Paul Sotilla's gone so Paul Sotilla's out already and so too is Ruffle Bar so Paul Sotilla and Ruffle Bar both out at Valentine's in on the first circuit and they will have to jump those again and they get over the next and Molly Awesome has been left in the lead after the departure of her stable mate Lacan Donor Eternal some reason I'm struggling with that one today Alfred Pound is in third and Captain Manning on the inside fourth as they skip over the fourth towards the back Sweet Women it's just the early back marker, but it's Molly Awesome who's got the lead at the moment from Lackandona Eternal in second. Alfred Pound is third as they get over the fifth. And after that one is Parla Dazzling and Captain Manorin, Dick Tack Casey on the inside of that one. Queen in waiting in the centre of the group as they head towards the next. With Molly Awesome in the lead. Leading by about three. And to Lack and Donner return on Alfred Pound, then Captain Manor in his fourth. Dick Tack Casey on the inside is fifth, and then Verrazano Bell and Queen in Waiting, and then Parla Dazzling. You see more ghosts after that one. Towards the back, Sarah Manamu is just at the back now as they get over the sixth, and the leader down on his nose there, or down on her nose. And it became the second Alex Cherry Fuller in this one. Crowd turned out for the final day of the season. And Molly Awesome skips over the fence that should be the last next time round. With a lead of about two lengths or so to Verrazano Bell, who's now gone second. Captain Manor in third as they approach the cheer. Still never seen anything fall at the cheer. My ESO commentaries, two more chances for it to happen as they get over that one. Oh, it's not going to happen now, so just one more chance for it. Oh, no, they'll jump, yeah, they'll only jump it once in the next one. Right, so one more chance for me to see a faller at the jet as they get over the water. I'm never going to see a faller at the water, that's for sure. So, Molly Awesome heads out a complete circuit of the Grand National track, leading by a good four or five now to Captain Manor and Dick Tack Casey who are sharing second, then Verrazano, Bell and Lack and Donut. Eternal Sweet Women's made some good ground, then Gunpoint Defence and Seymour Ghosts. Alfred Pound is after that one, and then National Fault Line on the top weight. With Catastrophe Rider Sarah Manamu, and finally Parla Dazzling. So, heading down to the next, the 10th, is the first in the Grand National proper, will be first in the next race as well, as they get over the 10th. They'll all stream around that one nicely. Oh, Rogers is two of them dropped to the back pile of Dazzling and Catastrophe right up. Over the next they go. All safely over that one as well. Heading down towards this big ditch, which Stuart hardly calls me. It's called Bank. I don't know that. Molly Awesome. In the lead over it. Well, Alfred Pounder jumped it really well, and Captain Mannerin's gone, so. Don't tell them, Pike. Captain Mannerin's gone. And he's out. That's his season over. As they get over the 13th. Alfred Pound is in the lead. Ron Molly also in second. Lack and Donor 
Eternal is next, then Seymour Ghosts and Gunpoint Defense. Verrazano Bell after that. Sweet Women and Dick Chad Casey are next. As they all stream over that one. With Alfred Pan clearing the lead by probably a length and a half. Depending on the angle, could be less, could be more. Cuts across now, and you can see it's probably less as they get over beaches. Very rare to see anything fall of beaches as well. To be honest, but Alfred Pound is in the lead. As they come down to the one after beaches. And they skip over that nicely. Past the point from which they started. And Alfred Pound, Molly Awesome, and Lack and Donor. It's turning a disputing the lead as they come down to the canal turn. Dick Casey over it fourth. Mistake at the back by Catastrophe Rider. Heading down now to Valentine's where we lost a couple the first time round. And they're all over it. Okay, this time with the exception of Sweet Women. Uh, Sweet Women's gone at the back, so David Hooley's horse out. Off the race there. Uh, it's a tricky fence that one as they get over the 19th. And all safely over the 19th. And Molly Awesome continues to lead from Dick Tat Casey. Seymour Ghost actually is the one who's come through in the same colours. Then Alfred Pound and Verrazano Bell. Lack and Donor Eternal is next as they get over the 20th. Just three to take now, but quite a long way still to go. And Molly Awesome's hanging on in there in the lead from Seymour Ghost in second. Alfred Pound is third. Lack and Donor Eternal is fourth. Verrazano Bell is still there as well as they get over the third last. Then comes Gunpoint Defence, who's been sitting quietly in mid div for most of the race. Sorry. Manamu is starting to run on National Fault Line under a big weight. Then Parla Dazzler and Queen in waiting. But it's Molly Awesome still in front. From Catastrophe Rider who's come through absolutely no, I was just looking for that one. Wondered where it had gone. It shot through into second. Without me really noticing, Verrazano Bell is back in third. They race down towards the final two then. And Molly Awesome and Catastrophe Rider are matching strides now. Four lengths clear of Verrazano Bell in third. Then come Seymour Ghosts and Alfred Pound. Then Lacandona Eternal over the second last they go. And Catastrophe Rider took off in the lead, but Molly Awesome fought back. These two are well clear. Seymour Ghosts is trying to run on, but at the moment these two have got five lengths up on them as they come down towards the final fence then. And it's Catastrophe Rider closest to. Us. Molly Awesome furthest away as they get over it. Catastrophe Rider landed him in the lead. Molly Awesome is battling back now. Verrazano Bell is starting to motor. So to Luck and Donor Eternal. Parla Dazzling's gone at the back. But it's Catastrophe Rider and Molly Awesome going to the elbow. Molly Awesome gets back into the lead. This will be a brave one if you can hang on. But Catastrophe Rider then comes and takes it up again. Here comes Verrazano Bell. Luck and Donor Eternal. Seymour Ghost is still finishing well. Verrazano Bell beginning to get up on the outside. Verrazano Bell is going to take it. I think Verrazano Bell. How is it from Catastrophe Rider that can do a return on Alfred Pan and Dick Tat Casey after that? And it's a win for Padre Hogan. Takes the first edition of the Paul Balls final. There is Arno Belt for Padre Hogan. Catastrophe Rider. Or well, second for Thomas Rogers, Patrick Hogan third as well with Lacandona Eternal, Seymour Ghost, John Morgan fourth, and Alfred Pound for Darren Thompson was fifth.